is the built-in image stabilization on the Canon Vixia HFR800 any good? Well, you can be the judge because I'm currently recording this. I'm making a video uh, going towards walking along the Parc Messila in Jerusalem, which is the uh, public community that goes along the old train tracks here. And it's quite a walk. And I'm trying my best. I've got the camera here on a um, little telescopic monopod slash selfie stick and I have it facing towards me. And I'm doing my best to kind of keep the uh, monopod as stable as I can, but A, I'm walking, B, it's freaking hot, and uh, C, there's always going to be these micro tremors, particularly when you've been on a, uh, drunk a lot of coffee in the morning, a lot of people will get this little micro tremor, you could call it, I guess, particularly when they're holding their arm out stretched. I'm just going to show you guys, this is what it is, I'm not using a gimbal, and actually a gimbal for this camcorder is on my upgrade list. Um, it's actually hard to find a camcorder, a gimbal that's suitable for a camcorder of this small size. I went to a camera store hoping they'd sell me the Ronin SC and they would not. They said it would not work. So uh, there's a smaller gimbal that I'm going to be trying out. So this is, I have the selfie stick at about probably 80 meter telescoping extension and I'm just going to put it out full so you guys can see if there's any uh, difference in terms of the stability. So this is 80, it's going to unlock unlock the selfie stick and uh, let's go, let's go all the way. Uh, this is actually as far as it goes. So now I have it at about a meter and 50 um, and this is the kind of stabilization I'm getting. Uh, the microphones are on the front of the camcorder so uh, for audio pickup you should be able to hear me although I'm going by a guy uh, streaming grass as you can probably also hear. Uh, so this is this is what it's like anyway, and uh, without any gimbal, just using it handheld with a selfie stick.